Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Runes, and today we're going to be talking about Magic of the Either. Let's mention the Vile, that's right, we're going to talk about all the Vile cards in the Magic world. So in no particular order, we're going to start with Aether Vile, it's from various sets, which is originally from Dark Steel. It's uncommon to rare as the years go by, with the average price of $44.39 on the market. So believe it or not, this one is really, really good. So it costs only one. It says at the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a charge counter on Aether Vial. You may put a creature card with a converted mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on Aether Vial from your hand. Basically, you can wait and wait and put a free creature into play. Hey, this is just, I don't know how this was a uncommon. At the time, this should have been even rare with what the series was in Dark Steel. Anyway, so let's move on to Alchemist Vial. So there's really nothing special about this vial card. It's from Magic Orange, which can sometimes be found in the Mystery Booster, which is a common, actually going for 20 cents. So that's actually better than an average common card. When it comes into play, draw a card. So that's basically what you really want to do. And then pay one, target creature can't attack or block this turn. Nothing special about this card at all. It's a really cool picture. I really like that. Very, very impressive picture. But this card is not that good at all. But everyone has their opinion. So let's move on to Angel Heart Vial, which is from actually the series of Rise of Eldrazi. It's a rare for 35 cents. That's right, not very good card, which maybe at the time it was. The saying is very cool. It says, it holds a whisper from Iona. Persevere. So for five, it, you bring it into play. It says, whenever you are dealt damage, you may put that many counters on that vial. Pay two, remove the counters from Angel Vial. You gain two life and draw a card. Uh, if you're not, if you have this in a white deck, you should not put this in at all. In fact, I don't know how this is 35 cents. With so many cards, we're gaining life and drawing a card for a lot less. There's no reason to have this. Other, like, you take the damage and then you only gain two life. This, this card is not good at all. So let's move on just right on to Relic Vile. Well, it's from Zendikar Rising. It's an uncommon for only going nine cents on the market. This card is not very powerful compared to other cards in the magic world when you can actually draw cards for only two mana for certain artifacts. So this one is sacrifice a creature, draw a card. Yeah, it has the tapping ability, so it's, that itself is not really cool. I'm surprised it's uncommon. But at the time that this Zendikar series came out, it's all about the clerics and everything. So this is why it says as long as you control a cleric, Relic Vile has whatever creature. If you control dies, each opponent loses one life and... You gain one life so that'd be really cool with tokens but other than that it's not that really cool because you need that cleric out so let's just kind of move on to the vial of dragon fire which is from core 2020 and in dragons of tarkir it's a common going for roughly four cents on the market so with these new decks coming out vials are actually becoming more and more popular but this one is two colors sacrifice it it deals two damage to target creature so again this is not very powerful, but it has to do with the storyline. And it's just a cool picture, so it's kind of like you're throwing them like grenades. So it says, this artistry assured me that the vial is strong enough to contain the dragon's breath. I just need to make sure to throw it far enough. Last words. So it's a really cool saying. <laughs> and that's about it. It's not really good. So let's move on to Vial of Poison. So this Vial of Poison, as I just said, is from Magic 2014, and it's uncommon going for it. Eight cents on the market. Well, it's pretty old, so maybe that's why it's eight cents, but it costs only one color. So then it says, sacrifice the vile opponent, target creature gains death touch until end of turn. So it's not really too bad. It costs only one man to bring it out and then one man to do it again. And if you really want to be annoying, but other than that, <laughs> so many cards I can just get one for a one one death touch. But you could be attacking with a four four and one that to have that. So I don't know. I would play this card, but it could be very powerful in the right combination. And the saying is, there are worse ways to die, but not many. A really cool picture, and that's it. So this is all the vile cards in the entire magic world. So I hope you guys have a good day and a good evening.